Have you ever wondered how good could a cheap wireless mouse be? Or let alone cheap, how about the cheapest wireless mouse out there on Amazon? How good can that thing actually be? Is there actually something you can work on the go off of or is it something that just turns into a piece of furniture right after your purchase? Well, I guess we'll find out because ah oh, fuck, I don't have the fucking mouse with me, shit. But I guess we'll find the answers to all those questions today because this is the WM111 from ePlugit. And this is one of the cheapest wireless mice out there. So let's check it out. Before we get into the video, I'd like to tell you that this mouse was sent out to me by ePlugit themselves, but this in no way is going to hinder my opinions and thoughts about the mouse. So with all that being said, let's get in. So right off the bat, the unboxing was rather good and I would never say this for a product like this, but when something comes wrapped in a plastic case, it's an absolute bitch to get out. But this, nope. They actually thought about this and gave you a pull tab at the back of the plastic casing to take the mouse out without any problems, which is a really nice touch. I've never actually seen this before, but seeing this now is actually pretty good. Anyway, getting inside the packing and getting the stuff out, you get the mouse itself and that's it. That's it, just the mouse. And if you wonder where the battery or the receiver is, they're all really discreetly placed right inside the back of the mouse. Uh, itself and first impressions after getting the mouse out was how light it was even with everything already inside the mouse which we will get to in a second. One thing you need to know is that the cell inside is also wrapped in plastic so make sure to remove that before you plug the receiver in and end up failing to use the mouse. So that's it for what we get in and let's see how this thing feels and performs. So as I said before the mouse is really light and personally I'm not a huge fan of really light mice. I like something bulky and something that has a little bit more weight to it. But if you're somebody who really likes light mice, this might be an amazing option for you because this is really light as it is and while you're using it, you do tend to take the receiver out to plug it into your laptop or your PC and it just takes that much more weight out of the mouse, making it even lighter than what it already was. Now what obviously hints to the tiny weight is of course the size. Now this mouse is tiny and if you compare it to something like the G402 you can see a massive difference. Now the G402 isn't really a fair comparison uh, to do with this mouse but the reason I am doing that is because that's the only mouse I have. But think of it this way, the G402 is a mouse that somebody like me with big hands can use really comfortably with a palm grip. But if you're somebody with big hands and uses palm grip anyway, this might not be the most comfortable thing and you might take a lot of getting used to it. But if you're somebody with small hands and use a palm grip or somebody with big hands and use claw grip anyway, then this should be something you might want to consider. Now the design of the mouse is really simple, but it's still really, really useful. And here's why. This is a symmetric design mouse, which there are not a lot out there. This is one of those uh, symmetrical mice, which is great for both left and right-handed users. You obviously have the option in Windows to switch the left and right clicks. So if you're a left-handed user, you should have no problem using this mouse whatsoever. Secondly, this mouse is all plastic and expecting anything other than plastic from a mouse at this price point would basically be unfair because the price is actually really low. And I think plastic is just perfect. Not that it feels really cheap in the hand. It's a decent quality plastic. I don't think it's gonna break or just come out into pieces ever unless you're really, really harsh with it, but it does not feel bad. It's It feels really sturdy, and I'm pretty sure that you're getting a pretty good value for money with this mouse. Personal experience, that's what I'm saying. Now the buttons on the mouse, the left and right click, do have a certain amount of travel to them, but I don't really find that to be troublesome at all. Secondly, the mouse makes really good clicky sounds, which to me is satisfying, but again, it comes down to the personal preference uh, if you like that sound or not. If you do, this is fine for you, but if you don't, you might want to look somewhere else. Now the scroll wheel here is covered with a rubber lining on top, which feels really soft and good to use. The scroll wheel click is really nice and responsive, and so is the scrolling up and down. Uh, whenever you search for mice at this price range, uh, my, what my personal experience says is that the scroll wheel really messes up and goes absolutely crazy when you try scrolling up and down. And that is not the case with this one, so they're actually using a pretty good uh, scroll wheel sensor on the inside, which is something uh, I've really grown cautious about over these years of using really extremely cheap mice. Using this mouse was just about what you would expect. It has a 1600 DPI, which I don't think can be changed because I failed to find any software support for this out there 
and secondly it doesn't have any other switch or button onto it that can control the dpi specifically the optical sensor is pretty good and decently accurate while tracking the movement but if you are somebody who's more used to a bigger bulkier mouse like myself you might feel that the sensitivity on this mouse is slightly higher and that is not the case you're just used to pushing your existing mouse with a lot more force uh, because it's a bulkier probably a heavier mouse but when you come to using uh, this one right after that one uh, you might push this with the same amount of uh, force initially and you might just overshoot the, the cursor a little bit giving you an illusion that uh, this is probably a higher dpi than 1600 but it isn't you can take my word for it because i've done that mistake over the past few uh, weeks of using this mouse when i started using the mouse i got into this issue where i was like this isn't supposed to happen because the 1600 on my G402 feels a little bit different than the 1600 on this one. And turns out I just move the mouse a little faster and I'm not, I'm just not used to the weight. But now over the course of these couple of weeks of me using this mouse, I've actually gotten used to it and it's a pretty recommendable mouse. That's what I'll say, but more coming up. Now the battery life advertised on the packaging was 24 months on stack. Now the battery life advice on the packaging of this mouse was 24 months on standby and 12 months of usage. Um, now for obvious reasons, I could not test uh, those battery limits, but I have been using this mouse for a couple weeks. Again, this is probably the third time I'm getting it up. But yeah, I've been using this mouse for a couple weeks. That's the fourth time. And I've not really run into any kind of battery issues uh, yet. Uh, but if there is anything that goes wrong with it, or if the battery just suddenly dies on me, I'll let you guys know. Uh, over on uh, any of my social media so make sure to follow me on that all the links will be down below in the description i see this mouse being perfect for the people who work on the go a lot on their laptops and never really want to use their trackpads um, i think this is a really good addition because of its size especially uh, i could easily just toss it into my camera bag or my laptop bag and just not worry about it specifically because the price is really low and it doesn't seem like something that will end up breaking all that easily to be really honest with you it's not cheaply built uh it's well built but i don't think it will actually end up breaking with your uh, with your laptop or your camera's weight so you should be you should be absolutely fine if you plan on tossing this into one of your bags and there you go oh shit drop test survived i just got the thing down oh there you go Drop test survived. Uh, that was a little bit of an expensive, uh, expensive joke to pull off. Anyway, uh, just gotta reassemble that. So basically this mouse is perfect for traveling and should be perfect for any photo or video editing work alongside other uh, basic uh, browsing or other basic tasks on your uh, laptop. You may be a gamer looking for a really cheap wireless mouse out there, but this mouse might fall short of your expectations, especially because it does not have a DPI switch. Secondly, it's wireless, so it's got a little bit of a latency to it. Also, the price tag kind of gives away the fact that it's not a zero latency mouse. And thirdly, you don't really have any programmable third button, fourth button or fifth button or however many buttons you're used to. Uh, but I think expecting this mouse to also fit the gamer um, part of the uh, audience out there would be expecting a bit too much from something at this price point. So I think for what it is and for what it's worth, it's a really good product. And if you feel like you want to get it, uh, make sure to head to the links in the description down below and get one for yourself And if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys later